Hey everyone, Mo here and today I'm going to show you how to alter this little house. It's the medium house from the house trio set and we are going to start by coloring it uh, with reverse stone acrylic paint. I'm just gonna it doesn't have to be perfect or anything just this is gonna be a base coat as you can see I'm going really fast and working directly from the paint tube and we do the sides as well next I'm gonna add some pineapple smoothie paint same way just took a little bit on the brush and going directly on what it is doing here is it's accentuating the texture the grain of the wood while add, also adding some color and if the gray mixes in with the yellow that's okay if you don't like that look you can just wait till the base uh, layer of paint is thoroughly dry when I'm done with pineapple smoothie I'm going to add a little more buttercream uh, just to lighten things up a little bit more in certain parts This is also creating sort of a canvas for what I'm going to add here after this. So now I'm going to just let that dry for a bit. It dries up fast. And I'm going to work with this lace trim. Let's see. Um, I like the color, but it's kind of too narrow for what I have in mind. So I'm going to go with this one I'm just going to wrap it around when I wrap it around I'm going to have to make sure that it meets on the other at the bottom side this is not only pretty it's just it's a beautiful texture and I think it will add a lot to our little house here so I'm going to add my trim with some Jarni Glaze and I'm just going to, I don't want to put so much glaze that it starts to ooze out of the design but enough to keep it secure. Okay, so I stretched it a bit. And that's the back side anyways so I'm not going to worry about it I'm going to add a little bit of cool pool paint and just to bring out the texture again on the lace it's like a minty greenish bluish kind of color very pretty and it's okay if you get a little fingerprints here and there doesn't matter it just it will all become part of your little house and as you can see I'm just just adding a little bit of blue here and there always helps to tie a piece together if you use if you repeat a color in a few different places while 
that dries, I'm going to do a little stamping. For that, I have this piece of paper here, and I'm going to stamp the XOXO. It's a Valentine set, but you can really cut out the XOXO if you do not want the heart, or cut the heart out with the words in it. Let's see how that goes. So that is that. I have some papers from the Make Amazing Happen collection. I think they're very pretty, cheerful colors and patterns. Let's take this one. Mm, I'm going to cut this out. there. Before I add it to the house, I'm just going to take a pencil and make a box around the words, uh, the word expression, XOXO. Okay, I'm going to just freehand some scallop edges. They don't have to be perfect, just the funkier the better, I would say. And I'm going to cut that out. So now I'm going to take my scallop. Now the uh, glaze is dry. I can lay my house down and I can put it here. But before I attach it to the house, let me just ink the edges a bit so for this again I'm gonna put some glaze every time my clay stops gets clogged the tip of the bottle I just take a toothpick and clear the gunk out and then it's all good again. So next I'm going to add this over here. Take some silver silk. I just love the silks. Next, I'm going to take some rock candy and just rub it along the edges a little. We've got some vintage pins here. Let's see if we can add it somehow here. Or like this. Hmm, not sure, so I'm gonna hang on to that. I'm thinking of putting some butterfly wings around my heart and I've started drawing one here. Just a very simple wing sketch. You could also use stamps and die cuts. That works great too. But because I'm going for a very handmade look, I think I'm gonna stay with drawing it myself. So here's a butterfly wing. I'm 
we could do it like this or we could do it like this I think it might be better to do this, yeah. Again, I'm gonna ink the edges of the wings. So now we come to the final part of assembling everything and I'm gonna start by putting a little glue. And let me just stick it in here. And let's put some glue on the wings. Okay, and now the heart goes on top. So I'm gonna put a generous amount of glue here. Kinda almost hold the 3D effect. And move the wing closer. So it looks like they're a bit far apart. You can move your wings around as long, as much as you want, as long as your glaze isn't dry. Once it's dry, it's gonna stay put. Come back in with some gold silk. And just little touches. Now, if you like to add any more paint or such, you could just go back in and add it on top. See, I'm going to go back to Pineapple Smoothie. And add a bit more yellow to the mix. It's okay if paint gets on the wings, that's okay, not a problem. We kind of like the layered and blended look. And I think we're done.